Two men recently arrested in Newark are being called career criminals. But police say they're not stealing things like cars or jewelry. They're allegedly swiping shopping carts. News 4's Pat Battle has the story from Rochelle Park. On any given day, there are roughly four or five hundred shopping carts outside the shop right here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. But over the last couple of weeks, Daniel here has had far fewer to push into place because somebody's been walking off with them. A lot of them. I think the store manager was the first to notice, uh, saying it looked like we're running low on carts here. So we started looking. We, you know, we do have a good security team. We began to look at the video and stuff, and then we noticed a red van coming and going, putting. A, you know, they were even dressed like cart guys. Uh, they wore the uh, the lime yellow shirts and everything. But these two were no cart guys. Police are calling 77-year-old Alfredo Rodriguez and Hector Cortez, who's 54, the shopping cart bandits. They were busted wheels up here in the parking lot of Shoprite after security here started its own investigation and handed cops their video. That was Monday. We're pulling out the paperwork on the next day on Tuesday and we're looking through it, and then we get a phone call around noon and they're like, they're here. So my partner and I, you know, we ran out there, we blocked the guys in, they were parked in the corner of the parking lot, and um, long and behold, they, they gave us consent to search their vehicle, we go in the vehicle, and there's five shopping carts there, so. They'd allegedly been at it for at least two weeks, and about 140 carts are missing. The craziest part about it was, like, he's a 77-year-old man and a 54-year-old man. The 77-year-old one was the one lugging them into the car, into the van. So I was very surprised to see a guy who could hardly walk taking a shopping cart and lifting it up and putting it in the, in the back of the van. I think it's odd. I don't know why they need shopping carts. Maybe because they sell for about $200 a piece wholesale. The 140 carts, it's almost $28,000 worth of shopping carts. We believe that they're selling them to like smaller bodega style places or they've been scrapping them. But they had proceeds on them. They're making cash. Cash so. money for shopping cash carts. Cash money, yeah. Who knew? Not me. <laughs> but apparently this is a thing. The Food Marketing Institute estimates 2 million shopping carts are stolen every year. Sometimes it's just a matter of convenience. We typically see people like they'll take a shopping cart home, they'll wheel it home if they live nearby. That, that's understandable, but to see people unloading them and loading them into their cars, it's, it's pretty bizarre. You hear everything on the news about, you know, retail theft, retail theft. You never think of it's your shopping carts. You're worried about your product going out the door, and they're stealing our shopping carts. Yeah. I could say fortunately that, you know, we, we got this resolved before our grand opening, which our re, uh, grand reopening, which is coming up. Well, the two suspects in this case are looking at a different kind of metal these days. They are behind bars at the Burden County Jail in Rochelle Park. I'm Pat Battle, News 4 New York.